Hello everyone, my name is CSJ88 and welcome to episode 19 of the refurbished Logo Evolution series. I've got another childhood favourite today, they're known for producing shows like Rosie and Jim, The Teletubbies, Tox TV as well as some others. I'm talking about Ragdoll Limited. Ragdoll was founded in 1984 to produce shows primarily for children. In 2013, Ragdoll was sold to DHX Media, but they still produce shows to this day under the name Ragdoll Productions. In total, Ragdoll has had five logos. We have quite a bit to go through today, so let's get things started. Their first logo is this. It's called the Ragdoll, and it was used from 1985 to 1995. I have three variants. The main variant is from the ending of a show called Pop's Program. It essentially allows viewers to send stuff to Ragdoll with their P.O. Box address. This is the message Pop would send. I'll post my paper to every friend who sends cash or stamps for 30p and their name and right address to me at P.O. Box 507, Edgebaston, Birmingham, B15, 3AL. Then pubs and ragdolls, girls and boys, can see how to make my games and toys. One version has a thicker and a larger copyright notice. And one version has a black-blue gradient background. This was used from 1993 to 95. you can probably guess what all of Ragdoll's logos contain. This one in particular is quite memorable due to its long lifespan, but some might say that the Ragdoll looks a bit freaky. The next logo is only seen on the first four seasons of Rosie and Jim. It looks like this. It's called the Ragdoll 2, and it was used from 1990 to 1996. I have six versions. Four of them have the Ragdoll looking like this. Two of them say a Ragdoll production for Central right underneath the Ragdoll, one has a different copyright date than normal, and one of them has a red and white shirt. The other two variants have a different ragdoll. One version has a yellow copyright text and one has it in white. If you love Rosie and Jim, you would definitely remember this special logo being at the end of it. Although again, some think the original ragdoll is creepy. This ragdoll will come back later, but for now, the rarest logo from Ragdoll Limited. It looks like this. It's called the Ragdoll 3. It was used for a few months in 1994. This logo was only seen on season 2 of Brum, another memorable kids show, which makes the logo seem a bit redundant. Plus, I think this is the freakiest ragdoll. Anyway, the next logo is this. It's called, well you can probably guess, and it was used from 1995 to 2002. I have 11 versions in total. For this logo, I've split them into three groups, main logos, plaster logos, and teletubbies logos. The first four are main logos. The next three are plastering ones. <laughs> and 
and the last four are Teletubbies logos only seen at the end of, well, the Teletubbies. Another memorable logo from that company I've mentioned too many times in this video. The doll looks a lot friendlier, and its long lifespan has earned it a lot of fans. The last logo is this. It's called the Ragdoll 5, and it has been in use since 2000. I have five variants. One is the same as before, but shorter and with a bram URL. The other four versions have the logo accompanied with BBC. They're all different. Some people consider the noises for the normal version to be annoying, but it's still a good preference to many people who grew up in the 2000s. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.